This is the new Tata Hexa and it's Tata's attempt to woo the premium customer. Expected at around 12 lakh rupees, the Hexa will compete against the likes of the Mahindra XUV500 and the Toyota Innova. The Hexa sports an aggressive front with a strong dominating nose, highlighted by the massive signature honey chrome grille. View it from the side and it's got more of an MPV look and gives away the fact that it's based on the Aria. However, the Hexa definitely commands more presence. On the inside, the Hexa feels rich and premium with a well-finished front dash and several amenities such as dual club boxes and lots of equipment. There's plenty of space for the first and second rows, but the third row will prove to be uncomfortable for taller passengers. The Hexa is powered by the 2.2-litre Varicord diesel power plant that has been tweaked a bit and produces 156 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. It's offered with a 6-speed manual and a 6-speed auto as well. The manual box Hexa is a great cruiser, though the gearbox itself feels notchy and heavy to use. The steering too feels a bit heavy, though the Hexa handles well enough for its ladder frame chassis. The brakes, however, do feel wooden. There's also a super drive mode selector that helps off-road duties when slotted into rough road mode. The automatic transmission makes the Hexa feel that little bit more agile. The gearbox is smooth and quick to respond and the cabin too is well insulated. So, is the Tata Hexa good enough for the premium car buyer to consider? Well, our answer is an emphatic yes.